So we're not really the new year, new you kind of people. But uh, the start of a new year or the start of a new camping season does offer the chance to look back, see what you did, see how your life went, and make some improvements. Um, so we sat down and thought about it, came up with uh, something that's going to, I think, make our lives in this year a lot better, flow a lot easier, and feel like we have more control over it. Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Scott. And a couple years ago, we gave up our single parent lifestyle when we fell in love, got married, and had a baby. And now while most of our friends are celebrating empty nests, we're starting over, but this time we'll be older and wiser. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about a life change that we're going to be making this year that's going to help us um, take more control of our time and our life. Uh, because, you know, let's face it, time is our most precious resource and you're not getting any more of it. So the most important thing you can do is manage it wisely. And I don't think many of us do that. I know we, we, we have it. Mm -mm. So in this video, we're going to share with you what we've come up with as a way to help take control of our time so that we can have a, a more fulfilling life so that we can... Less stress and chaos. Thank you. Less stress and chaos. More adventure and fun. Yay! Yay! So, I came up with this. We were talking about our year and how it was kind of crazy, kind of messy, kind of stressful. And I said, you know, we need to make the time to take the time. And boom, there it is. So what does that mean? So it means that you're taking that time, right? As I said, it, it's, it's our most precious resource. You need to invest it back in yourself, in your life, in your family. Um, it's so easy to get caught up in the, the hustle and bustle of every day the work, the kids, the zoning out in front of the television, whatever your, your downtime is like, um, it's easy to get sucked into that. Yes. So you need to, or, or we figured that we need to force ourselves to block out time, to make time for ourselves, for our goals, for the things that we want to attain in this life. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where you came up with make the time to take the time. I did. So yeah. yes, basically it's just that simple. It's blocking off time in your day to ensure that you take time to do something, mm -hmm. um, something worthwhile, right? Maybe it's um, watching a YouTube video on learning a skill yes. that you wanted. Maybe it's researching that vacation a little bit more so that you have more time to do the things that, that are interesting to you rather than running around with the kids trying to figure out what to do. Yes. Um, maybe it's getting more organized around the house. Maybe it's finishing that you know, project in the kitchen. Being present in what you're doing when you're doing it. That was my big mistake from last year is that I would be doing something, but my brain would be thinking, okay, what do I have to do next? Let me get through this so I can get to that. And it was just, one big long string of rushing around constantly focused on what I have to do next instead of being present in the moment. So I could be baking cookies with Malcolm, but I wasn't enjoying it because I was thinking about, okay, I have to switch around the laundry and I need to get these cookie dishes cleaned up because we have to go to the library. And that's not fun. It's not fun for me. It's not fun for him. So taking the time, being present in what you're doing, is one of the things that we're going to do this year. Yep. Um, that also comes in play with our channel here. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we've only been at this for about a year now, mm -hmm. not quite. Not quite. And we're still learning the ropes, right? And we kind of came from this, like, let's film everything. <laughs> and let's do this. And, and, and you try to cram everything in and, and, and show everybody the world that you're experiencing too, because it's so cool when you're out there. And it's hard to come back and enjoy that as well for yourself. So one of the things that, that came out of this was that we're going to make the time to take the time to film the stuff that we want to film for the channel and for you all, and then make the time to take the time to enjoy it with yes. ourselves. 
So that's gonna be something that you'll see different. And I think we're gonna be producing better content because of it, because we're gonna be more organized, more yeah. planned. We're gonna try and get some, some new shots. We've got um, a lot of ideas for this season, because mm -hmm. we're going to a lot of really cool places. So. Um, Canada! Yes, and <laughs> now we're not only wrangling, you know, a preschooler and a, a wily Greyhound Labrador Border Collie mix, but we've got an Oliver <laughs> who's going to end up being a hundred pounds of goofball. He is, he is goofy, but yeah, that's, yeah. so the other part of what we're doing is a weekly goal, personal goals, Yes. right? So what was it you said to me? So it's a saying, it's not my saying, it's a famous saying, it's been out there forever. It's that a dream written down becomes a goal. A goal with a date becomes a plan, right? Mm -hmm. A plan put to action becomes reality. It's something like that. But yeah. basically what it means is that you can dream up here all day long about all the great stuff in the world, but if you don't do anything about it, it's just it's a dream. Just dream. The dreams are great but reality is better, right? So that's kind of taking a, a, a cue from that, is that we're going to make sure that every day, every week, whatever chunk of time that we can fit, we're going to dedicate to some kind of personal growth, fulfillment, something that's going to make our lives better, either collectively or individually, right? And we're a partnership, so anything that makes us better individually makes us better collectively. Yeah. So that's basically what it boils down to is being a little more organized, but not so hyper organized. You still have to be flexible. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, when you're making the time to take the time, um, you need to make sure that, that you're not allowing other things to take that time. When you set that block of time aside, it needs to be pretty immovable, otherwise, you're gonna find so many excuses to do this. You know, if little Johnny needs help with his homework, that's great. Little Johnny can wait for a few minutes, right? For the half hour that you've set aside to learn the guitar or something like that. Don't feel selfish about it. You have to invest in yourself. It's the only way you become a better person. It's the only way you, become, you really be happy with yourself. And you're not really happy if you're not happy with yourself. I think that's something we've learned. So. You know, but if little Johnny breaks an arm and you need to take him to the hospital, then... Well, that's a thing. You probably ought to move your goal time, right? A yeah, little bit. <laughs> so just make sure you're actually taking that time. Shut it down, put it on paper, and then follow through. And it doesn't have to be huge chunks of time. You can do 10 minutes here. You can do three or four times a day of just 10 minutes. It just depends on what your goal is. And what kind of time you have, mm -hmm. you know? So one of the ways that we are going to help meet our goals is with a printable. Yay! Take the time to make the time. This is our weekly goal planning sheet and I laminated this. This is totally awesome. So you write your goal down here. You also write out why this goal is important to you. What makes it important? Okay. Um, here is, this is a what. What are your barriers might, that may come up to prevent you from reaching your goal? It's important to know what you're up against. Um, and then this is something, this is SMART goals. Is it specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based? So you have to set a due date for your goals, otherwise it just can drag on and on. And then down here, it's actions and due dates. So. Um, I want to build a new set. That is my goal for this week. So I have on my other sheet, I've got the actions listed out and what date I need to have them done by to get my set built. So this sheet is pretty cool and we're gonna share it with you over on our Facebook page. We'll pin it to the top. So see the link below to get to our Facebook page. Give us a little like there and it's a good place to share your goals if you're comfortable doing that. We can help keep each other accountable. I know I'm going to be sharing my goals like crazy on there. And it just keeps the motivation going. So Yeah, yeah. let us, let us help you out. Throw some ideas off of us. We love to talk and communicate with people. Um, you know, you can send us a private message if, if you don't want to post it on the group. Or, you know, find friends or family or whoever. It's whatever you need. Just find somebody to help keep you accountable. Even if it's your cat. Right. 
We also have a five by seven printable of just the make time to take the time. Um, I have, so it's a five by seven printable that we're sharing. I'm gonna print it out and put it in the RV as a little reminder, right over the door, but this one uh, goes by my desk. So that's why this is nice and big. So I can put it on the wall and see it whenever I'm sitting there. So that's pretty much what we wanted to share with you uh, today. We just have been thinking about this for a little while. The last year has been very chaotic and, and it has been enjoyable, but we did feel like we were kind of bystanders in it for parts of it. Yeah. And we don't like that. No. So, you know, there are probably a lot of you out there that already have this down pegged and and and, and have your lives hyper organized or not hyper organized but you guys are in a place where you're enjoying your life you figured it out already um our story is about us going through and refiguring out a lot of things that maybe we didn't the first time around right and um and sharing those things with you all so if you haven't figured this out yet if if this is something that's helpful for t helpful to you then um by all means Talk to us about it, let us know. Head over to the Facebook page, print the stuff out, and um, keep let's, us updated. Yeah, let's talk. Yeah. I like to talk. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well that's it for now, guys. We really appreciate you all tuning in, and um, subscribe to our channel. Like I said, head over to the Facebook group, leave us a comment, and uh, stay tuned for future videos. We've got lots of great stuff coming up. 